Welcome to Maths Companion. I am Demesh. In the last video, we have seen how to draw the perpendicular bisector of a line. Now, let us check the answers of the homeworks. First problem, draw a line 6.5 cm long and draw its perpendicular bisector. We have to draw a line 6.5 cm long and then we have to draw its perpendicular bisector. First of all, let us draw a line of length 6.5 cm. How can we draw the perpendicular bisector of this line? Put the compass at one end and take more than half of the length of this line as radius and draw arcs on both sides of this line like this. Now put the compass at the other end without changing the radius draw arcs on both sides of the line. Now mark the points of intersection, join them. This line is the perpendicular bisector of the line of length 6.5 cm. Now the second problem, draw a square each side 3.75 cm long. We have to draw a square each side 3.75 cm long. Here we have to draw a square of side 3.75 cm and we know it is difficult to draw a line of length 3.75 cm using scale. So let us double it. What is double of 3.75? It is 7.5 cm and using a scale we can easily draw a line of length 7.5 cm and if you draw the bisector that line will be divided into two equal parts each of length 3.75 cm. So first of all let us draw a line of length 7.5 cm. Now let us draw the perpendicular bisector of this line. For that let us put the compass at one end of this line and draw arcs on both sides. Now without changing the radius, put the compass at the other end and draw arcs on both sides of this line. Now mark the points of intersections, join them. This line is the perpendicular bisector of the first line. Now the first line is divided into two equal parts, each of length 3.75 cm. Now there are two lines of length 3.75 cm. You can take any one of them as the side of the square. Here I am going to take this line as the side of the square. Now we have to draw a square with this line as a side. How will you do that? We know the four sides of the square are equal and all the angles are 90 degree. And this is the perpendicular bisector so this angle is 90 degree. So it is enough to take 3.75 centimeters on this line. For that put the compass at this point and take this distance in the compass and draw an arc here like this. Now you can see the arc is not intersecting this line. If it is so, we have to extend this line. So let us extend the perpendicular bisector to meet the arc. Now mark the point of intersection. So from this point to this point is another side of the square. And now we have got three vertices of the square which we are going to draw. Let us find the fourth vertex. We know the fourth vertex is 3.75 cm away from this point and it is 3.75 cm away from this point. So again take this distance in the compass and draw an arc from this point. Now taking the same radius draw an arc from this point. Mark the point of intersection. This is the fourth vertex of the square. 
Now it is enough to join these two points and these two points like this. So this is the required square. You can see the side is 3.75 centimeters. In the last video, we have seen how to draw the perpendicular bisector of a line. Today, we are going to learn how to draw the bisector of an angle. Consider the isosceles triangle ABC in which the sides AC and BC are equal. Now, this is the perpendicular bisector of AB and we have seen that it is the bisector of angle C also. So, to draw the bisector of angle C, it is enough to draw the perpendicular bisector of the opposite side AB. That means, to draw the bisector of any angle, first of all, we have to make an isosceles triangle in such a way that the angle is the angle joining equal sides and observe the opposite side and draw the perpendicular bisector of that opposite side. That will be the bisector of the angle also. Let us see how we can do that. First of all, let us draw an angle. Now we have to draw the bisector of this angle. For that, we have to make an isosceles triangle in such a way that these two sides are equal. For that, let me put the compass at this point and draw an arc. You can take any radius, simply draw an arc like this. Now, mark the points of intersection of this arc with the sides of the angle. Now, if you join it, we get a triangle that is an isosceles triangle because this is the radius of the arc and this is the radius of the same arc. So, they are equal and therefore, this triangle is an isosceles triangle. Now, to draw the bisector of this angle, it is enough to draw the perpendicular bisector of this line. We know to draw the perpendicular bisector of this line, we need two isosceles triangles with this line as base. Already we have made an isosceles triangle here with this line as a side. So, it is enough to draw one more isosceles triangle with this line as side. For that, take the compass and put at this end and draw an arc. You can take any radius but it should be more than half of the length of this line and draw an arc. Taking the same radius, put the compass at the other end, that is this end and draw another arc. Mark the point of intersection. Let us join this point to this point and to this point like this. Now, this is another isosceles triangle. So, the perpendicular bisector of this side passes through this point also. So, to draw the perpendicular bisector of this line, it is enough to join these two points like this. And this line is the perpendicular bisector of this line and therefore, it is the bisector of this angle also. Now, do we need all these lines? To draw this line, we need these two points. And when we draw the angle, this point is already there. So, it is enough to find out this point. For that, we need this arc and these two points and these two arcs. So, these lines are not necessary to find out this point. So, let us see how we can draw the bisector of an angle easily and correctly using these principles. Draw an angle at first. Let it be angle CAB. Now put the compass at A and draw an arc. Mark the points of intersection. Let it be P and Q. Now put the compass at P and draw an arc. 
Taking the same radius, put the composite Q and draw another arc. Mark the point of intersection. Join R to A to get the bisector of angle A. We have learned how to draw the bisector of an angle. Let us remember the steps once again. First step, draw the angle for which you have to draw the bisector. Let it be angle CAB. Second step, draw an arc from A to meet the sides at P and Q. Third step, draw an arc from P. Fourth step, taking the same radius, draw another arc from Q. Fifth step, mark the point of intersection, let it be R. Last step, join A to R to get the bisector of angle A. If the two arcs from P and Q are not intersecting, you have to extend the arcs to meet them. Today we have learned how to draw the bisector of an angle. Now there are two homeworks. First one, draw an angle of 75 degree and draw its bisector. Second problem, draw a circle of radius 2.25 cm. Hope you have understood. Do the homeworks, practice well. I will be back with another video. Till then, bye.